Hi everyone, I'm Martin Freeney from Earthship Eco Homes, and I'm here to promote an upcoming Earthship workshop and talk about this new Earthship design for the Australian suburbs. But first I'd like to explain why you should come to this workshop. Why should you pay money to come and help Amy build her Earthship? Well, number one, you'll get inspired. You'll get hands-on experience and learn new skills. You'll also have a lot of fun. As you can see, these two characters have just invented boots made from cob. You'll also make some new friends who share many of your ideas about what sustainable housing means. You'll have the opportunity to hang out, play games, meditate, do yoga. You'll also learn about ecological construction methods from the crew who have been to the USA and learnt from the experts. You'll get to stomp cob and build a tyre wall. And uh, by the way, this photo and many of the others are taken at the recent Earthship Eco Homes workshop in Inman Valley, South Australia. Photo credits to Kimberly Camo. Great work, Kim. Thanks for the wonderful photos. You'll learn how these buildings work and how to design them from a world expert who did his PhD on how Earthships work and how to make them more sustainable. That'd be me. You'll be on your way to becoming an Earthship owner builder armed with more knowledge and skills that will help you build your own. And of course, you will have a small army of skillful and fun loving new friends to help you build your Earthship. At a higher level, you'll be helping the human race continue to exist on planet Earth. Now, I realize some people are moving to Mars, but me, I'm staying here on Earth, and the way to do that is in an Earthship. They are, in my opinion, the most beautiful, economical, ecological, and all round logical response to climate change, water scarcity, food shortages, pandemics, bushfires, and power bills. They're self-sufficient, off-grid, low-tech, do-it-yourself design and construction puts this type of housing within the reach of anyone who is willing to give it a go. There are designs for different budgets and different climates. So come and learn about it. If you come to the workshop, you'll get a tour of Earthship Iron Bank, my Earthship, pictured here. So here is the website, earthshipecohomes.com.au. Click on the workshops tab. If you want to come, scroll down and click the rego button on the Earthship Eco Homes website. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to join in. And hopefully we'll see you on 29th January 2021 in Goolwa, South Australia. As we're working and camping outdoors, we expect COVID will not be an issue. But if it is an issue, we do have a COVID refund policy. All the details are on the website. Okay, now I'm going to briefly explain some of the amazing design features of this suburban Earthship and then take you for a virtual walkthrough of the building. If you come to the workshop, you'll learn a lot more, but hopefully this gives you a basic understanding. So you can see it fits on a suburban block of 30 metres by 30 metres, so that's 900 square metres. You can see the north facing solar panels on the roof and the rainwater tanks in the back corner. All the green space around the building are wastewater fueled worm farm areas. That would be fantastic for gardening. It has a bedroom at each end with an ensuite bathroom and open plan kitchen, living and dining area. The corridor of the home is a beautiful subtropical sunroom where you can grow bananas year round or other yummy things using the grey water from the home. A zero energy ventilation system uses the stable temperature of the earth and the heat generated in the greenhouse corridor to draw fresh air into the building through underground earth tubes at a beautiful temperature year round. This is how you keep your heating and cooling bill to practically zero. There is a slow combustion heater for the depths of winter when the sun don't shine. However, the superior insulation of these buildings and the thermal buffer space created by the greenhouse corridor means the heater is rarely required. This will be the first earth ship in the world to have underfloor insulation using straw bales 
and also the first in the world to have its underground earth tubes turbocharged by a wastewater irrigation system. Okay, it's time to start the virtual tour. So strap in, it could be a little bumpy at times. Keep an eye on the little floor plan map in the top left corner. And when I'm talking about the sunlight entering the building, you can see the time of day in the bottom right corner. Okay, so just hang tight while I start the virtual tour. Okay, here we go with the virtual tour. Um, we are sort of walking towards the carport now. And in the carport, you'll see some white boxes. One of the big one is the Tesla power wall, the batteries for the building. Then we enter the greenhouse corridor. On the right is the second bedroom. Past the banana tree, there's a door out to the front yard on the left. And on the right, there are double doors into the open plan, kitchen, living, and dining space. There's a little study nook in the corner there, the kitchen. There's a nifty little laundry utility space back in here. Um, so just washing machine and trough, a little bit of storage on the left, through this door into a walk-in robe space. And there's a little opening in the wall, wardrobe on the right, large bedroom with space for doing yoga, um, a door from the master bedroom into the spacious bathroom with a bathtub, shower in the corner, flushing toilet, and vanity, beautiful bottle wall there as well. And then back into the greenhouse where there's also a little table for two. Bottle wall, out the eastern door, second driveway there. And then now we're walking over one of the garden beds, which as I said, irrigated by wastewater. Be full of worms who love the wastewater, be fantastic for growing things. And then also this rear part of the building where we have all this earth which helps keep the building at a stable temperature. This is also irrigated with wastewater. Also a great worm farm area, great for growing things. There's a little shed back here. Here you can see the earth tubes where the fresh air comes in, it's your free air conditioning system, some water tanks, and um, some, there are some steps here up to that, um, that gardening area. Of course, we've got some recycling bins and green bins, landfill bin, um, and this pergola area, we're going to grow vines on this to create some extra shade in the summer. It's also going to be a pretty cool little hangout space uh, if you're having a party. And back to where we started. Uh, this white picket fence is actually going to be made out of old pallets. And now, as promised, I want to show you how the sun sort of hits the front face of this building. Also want you to keep an eye on what's going on inside the building back here. So what I'll do is I'll just reset it to sunrise there. So looking down in the bottom right corner, you can see the time of day. This is the shortest day of the year, um, the 21st of June. And what you'll notice is that quite early in the morning, it's 9.30, we're getting lots of sun into the building. Then by midday, there's midday, even more sun into the building. It kind of probably peaks around 1.30. This building does just slight, slightly face to the west. So 
It's about 15 degrees west of north. That's why we're getting more afternoon sun. And then as the afternoon rolls on, you see more and more of that winter sun getting into the building, warming up the building so you don't need to put on the fire. And there's sunset at about 5.30. Of course, in the summer, no sun gets in at all because of the high angle of the sun and because of the way the building is oriented. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of the virtual tour. I hope that gave you a good idea of uh, this new suburban earthship design for the Australian suburbs. I really hope to see you at the workshop. Please go hit that rego button on the Earthship Eco Homes website. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.